I mean, if you watch any <laughs> SMO game players, you'll know that they complain about input drops on a very regular basis. So uh. you know, they'll do pretty much anything to to get rid of those. All right. Gamers will now begin to game here as we start the runs. So what is your prediction for what kind of route they're going to be taking? Um, hmm. I mean, as far as any percent goes, the routing is like pretty standard for uh, what they have. One of the things where there might be a route difference would probably be in wooded. But at this such of a high level PB, more likely than not, they'll be going for a very similar strats in a lot of the areas. Yep, that's probably true. Um, we've seen a lot of these gamers opt to not attempt DSS. Even Tyrone got a 58 without DSS yesterday. Um, so you think any of them will try it? You know, I think it's definitely possible. It, it could definitely show up depending on how confident or comfortable they feel with DSS. DSS feels like it's one of those tricks where if you're comfortable with it and you're confident with it, it's one of those things that you just end up going for most of the time anyways. True, but I know we've seen a lot of 58s of our gamers here not go for it, so... Uh, some of them, you know, just... If they were in their home stream, you know, even if they were doing no, no resets in their home stream, they, they may be more um, acclimate to go for it. But, you know, in a tournament scenario, a lot of times people want to go for these more safe strats. Absolutely. You know, I can understand that as we just see Eek here missing that left side and going to be having to take a slower version of it. Already going to be having a minor deficit here coming out of cap. Definitely not a costly mistake, but as we saw in the last race, you know, even those few seconds can make the difference. And, you know, I guess we'll see how it plays out in the end. All right, both runners here now heading into Cascade Kingdom. A pretty straightforward kingdom. You know, honestly, not too many crazy things happens here again, unless you do go for DSS, which it looks like. Oh, actually, it might be too soon for me to say. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to wait till they come out of this story moon to tell whether or not they're going to attempt it. That's right. Yeah, I, I don't see it too often. I have seen a couple of uh, I've seen a couple of runners do backwards to DSS for grins and giggles. Um, but yeah, I, I don't see it in too many runs myself. All right, that's going to be a no from Stravos. Also a no from Ink. Oh yeah, backwards DSS. Basically, you just, uh, you do that thing where you can make Mario jump backwards and do a triple jump backwards, and then you just do DSS like that. Yeah, I'm going to agree with this. I, I am not familiar with that term. <laughs> so. There's only been like two or three people who have done it, and there's literally no reason to do it. Literally no reason to do it, but people have done it. I believe you, I do. I mean, people can do some pretty crazy stuff in this game. So. <laughs> All right, Stravos and Eek here, both going to be finishing off the Mount of Brutal fight. Eek taking a little bit of damage there, just losing a small amount of time. Saren, I was not having a flashback to the SMO Joy-Con incident until you just brought it up now. So... <laughs> Thanks, Saren. <laughs> but, see, Saren, these runners are actually capable of doing spiritless luncheon without like millions of spaghetti so <laughs> spaghetti sauce 
I have no comment. I have not actually seen much of Esmo Joy-Con stuff, so I, I have no comment on that. Saren is referring back to when they were doing freshman any percent races. I was commentating, and the runner probably had like a 110 at the time, and they were very far behind, and they decided to go for spiritless luncheon. And I was calming, and they clearly had not had much experience with Spiritless Luncheon, and ah. it was quite the experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as we saw earlier, uh, Strabo's here actually getting the chest clip, and going to be saving that couple of few seconds here over an Eek, just ever so slowly increasing his lead here. It was a and again, as we saw, 28 exit, I think, for Straff. Neek gonna have that 539, just about a 10 second difference. But as you saw earlier, you know, it's still early in the game, still many, many things could happen. Wouldn't count Eek out of this yet. Oh, definitely not. I mean, 10 seconds could be made up almost anywhere. <laughs> In these types of scenarios with the high-level runners, it's probably not going to be movement that saves all the time. It's most likely going to be um, an error on the other runner's end. All right, Strabo's here setting up for reverse town. Looks like Eek going to be opting for the normal route here. Most of them very, very cool easily movement. made their DSTA windows, so no problem there. Yeah, absolutely. DSTA, I, I wish I was more consistent at it myself. It's so nice to not have to open the menu and just make the seed spawn. Yeah, it's almost like magic. <laughs> Ooh, very Stravos. nice movement from Stravos there. Uh, luckily able to get enough stalls out there to not miss the moon. I was concerned he was going to fall down too soon. Nah, I wasn't concerned. Stravos is a gamer. <laughs> Very nice moon snipes there from both runners. Always nice to see when you ground pound and see the moon come right up. It's very, honestly, really annoying when you have to go back for it like a second or third time. It just feels bad. All right, Stravos with a very nice dram on the bullet bill there. Those drams can look very clean <laughs> if you get them right. Absolutely. Ooh, Strabo's gonna be going for the single bill. Hopefully, it's close. That should make a little it. far back. All right, good, good. We got the reverse Jaxi coming up here. Ooh, very cleanly done. It's like Eek gonna be getting that bill as well. The reverse Jaxi attempt here from Eek. Very nice. Solid. Did get the checkpoint, but that he doesn't need, but not that big a deal. Alright, rolling on over to the Oasis. Um, still a little bit um, different sync here because they did do two different routes um, he opted to go with the normal DSTA and Stravos did the reverse town so Strav is going to save a little bit of time on Eek there just for doing that more advanced route very right, nice Travis. <laughs> very nice single throw notes Oh, 
Oh, Eek, having a little bit of trouble there. You're gonna be having to get that second spin throw out for the notes. The Stravos with a very, very clean Sand Kingdom here. Gonna be heading out. And as you mentioned before with that checkpoint, Eek just losing a, a, a small fraction of time here in Sand, having to read that text box, but not gonna be too big of a deal here. You'd probably have to read it somewhere else as well. 10.05. For Stravos on the exit. And a 1027 for Eek here. Definitely lead has gone up here for Stravos. Yeah, Stravos came into sand with about a 10 second lead. Now he's got about, what was it, like a 22 second lead. Yeah. So, expanding it. Yep, you definitely going to have to uh, hope that Stravos makes some mistakes here in order to catch up and capitalize on it. I mean, Late Clip could be a place where mistakes can be made for sure. It can be very easy not to get your clip. Second try for Stravos, which isn't bad by any means. Eek also second. One thing you'll notice, too, is that they are playing in two different languages. Um, Eek is in simplified Chinese, and Stravos, I believe, is in traditional Chinese. Um, and Stravos is going to be saving about 12 frames with the traditional uh, Chinese. So not nice. anything <laughs> massive. <laughs> we got that whole 12 frames of time saved there. You know what I think is actually pretty funny is, uh, like, I played this game originally a long time ago, like when it first came out or whatever, and then I started Japanese. speed running it. No, nah, I just, I just played it in English. And then I, when I started speed running it, you know, I'd basically forgotten most of my knowledge. So, and I was just like, all right, well, they said simplify, you know, they said simplified Chinese is the fastest. So I guess I'll just go with that. And, you know, if you were to ask me, like, which moon was named what? I'd just be like, I have no idea. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played this in English. Fair. <laughs> Strav had the 12.55 exit. I need and... to put the 13.15. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> 30 second difference. or No, 20 second difference. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 20 second difference. So he did save about a couple of seconds in Lake, which is good for him. See, the SMO communicant really seemed to decide which language is fastest because first it was Japanese, then it was simplified Chinese, and now it's traditional Chinese. So really? who really knows? Mm -hmm. That's so funny. Yeah, you know, it's funny, at least with the, at least with Super Mario 64, there's like a, a somewhat mo minorly clear difference since there's really only two languages to choose from for speed purposes. That's really amusing. I don't know, it's very indecisive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll see how Strav's nut clip goes here. That should work. Looking good so far here. 
not only do you want to have a good clip, is you want to have this good out of bounds movement because that can waste time as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's incredibly easy to screw up back there and fall right into dark woods or deep woods. You mean sorry. deep woods? <laughs> yeah, I don't know deep where the dark came die. from. <laughs> Not sure where the dark woods came from. It's got to be some different game that I can't think of at the top of my head right now, though. <laughs> yeah, some places you fall into deep woods, some places you die. And in this scenario, these runners would actually prefer to die rather than go into deep woods because Absolutely. going into deep woods would waste much more time. Yeah. Ooh, he got a very clean <laughs> nut break there. That was really pretty. Alright, Stravos getting that backup checkpoint. Yep, that would be in case he died. Um, Ooh, just a little, because little if messy he on did the movement. Die and didn't get that checkpoint, he would go all the way back to the shop. Yeah, which is definitely not somewhere you wouldn't have to go to. Eek, opting to not get the checkpoint. I mean, you know, these runners have confidence, and yeah. I get that. Good FRS from Strav. Very nice. Stravos did have a little bit of trouble getting up to that nut around the corner there. Ooh, but Eek is not getting the setup that oh, he oh, That's gonna be a death for Eek! Oh no! Eek didn't Remember get the checkpoint earlier. He's gonna be back yeah. at the shop. He did not get the checkpoint, and that is gonna be quite oh, a man. ways back. Ooh, that is a very costly mistake from Eek. Super unfortunate. Oh, West Dog, thank you. <laughs> that's kind. Oh my gosh, Saren, stop. No. <laughs> Saren, no. You can't Wait. stop him. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop! No! Wait! No! Focus on the runners, not me! Stop! Okay, this time, e getting the checkpoint, not wanting yeah. to have to have that mistake happen again. That was a very costly mistake for E, because not only did he die, but he went all the way back to the shop, so he had to climb all the way back up here. Yeah, and when you haven't opened up the Sphinx with the questions, it is definitely a trek. I mean, even if he had opened up the Sphinx, it probably wouldn't be much faster to go that way to be honest with you yeah it's it, it's a hard climb back up no matter which way you go spam this purse if you love nurse oh thank you <laughs> perfect perfect <laughs> all right stravos is now going to be heading out of wood kingdom here with a massive lead Thanks to that unfortunate mistake from Eek here. That's going to be a nice 1808 exit from Stravos here. Very confident lead. Yeah, not to say the game is over by any means. Just that the gap is definitely widening. Eek came in with maybe 20 seconds behind, but he's going to be much further than that behind now. Man, yeah, Stravos already heading into the Bowser fight. Eek still hanging around in woods. It's super unfortunate. Stravos did try and go for the cloud boost there. Didn't quite get it, but if he had gotten it, that would have been very nice to see. All right, very clean first hat here for Stravos. See, Looks like he's going to be going to the I'm going to be obligated to say this. Strav minute. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. Gosh darn. Unfortunate. Oh, it's a minor dive there. Saren, has the comms been slash enemy the whole time? <laughs> there we go. Ooh, not only show us getting the nice hat, but also spawning a heart out. All right, Eek was about 1924 leaving, so he's Ooh. about a minute and 15 seconds behind. Yeah, Stravos already going to be leaving Cloud Kingdom here. 
Wow, that is super unfortunate. And not to say that, you know, he couldn't come back from this, but he wouldn't need Stravos to make a pretty big mistake. Absolutely. Alright, Stravos with a good meme tree jump there. Very nice. As Eek heading into the Bowser fight. Getting a good first cap here. With the death uh, dive right into the poison. Oh man! Commentator's Luckily. curse. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, not too late into the lost route here, but that's still definitely going to lose him quite a bit of time. Strap, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Strap was playing it a little bit safer, making sure he hits the butterfly in the moon without falling this time. All and right. that's gonna so be... that is going to buy Eek some time. Not enough to catch him <laughs> up, but that is going to buy him some time. Absolutely. Eek finishing off the Bowser fight here. Now going to be heading into Lost. Uh, the two racers once again back in the same kingdom. Very nice with the bird activation there. For a second there, I thought he wasn't going to be close enough to trigger Klepto. Having just a little bit of trouble grabbing that moon. But eventually getting it. Reverse Trapedal here from Stravos. That's the name of the trick. Okay, I could not remember what it was last race. So I was just like, uh, the thing. Oh, but Eek! Also, <laughs> there! Eek, no! A precious time save! Okay. Alright, well, Eek made the exact same mistake as Stravos did. Um, so, scratch that on Eek making up that time, because now he's probably not going to have any time save. Super unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Dives, dives and angles in this game can be really tricky. You always want to make sure... You've got your camera set up to somewhere comfortable. I've unfortunately made mistakes like that in SM64 where I'm like, this camera angle's kind of janky. It's fine. I don't need to fix it and immediately dies. All right, 2216 from Stravos. And you even saw Eek there. He took a video of his death. So he's going to be going back and watching that afterwards, see what happened. A much cleaner moon grab there from Eek. Let's see if we can get this reverse trapedal as well. It looks like he does. Very Both nice. Of them got it. Right. Looks like Eek gonna be setting up for KH Triple. Stravos here, making his way downtown, rolling fast, screaming. I I don't know. I couldn't think of a clever How do you know he's screaming? there. He might not be. <laughs> I was like, couldn't think of a clever thing for verse 3 there, but, you know, basic ideas Fire. there, I hope. Alright, coming into City Hall interior, we'll see how this Goomba jump goes. Nice Goomba heck there from Strav. Alright, we finally at a loss. So... About a minute and 15 second difference. Yeah, just about checking over at the stat sheet there. Yeah, Stravos with a very good timer. Stravos only timer. Plus Hello, 10 Talflime. on your 59 59. <laughs> Alright, once again, runners back into the same kingdom. Eek just entering Night Metro here. As Stravos, ready to fight the Mecha Wiggler, probably one of the worst bosses in this game. Oh, that's debatable. I will fight you on that all day. <laughs> I'm, good. I'm, I'm good with that. Which boss do you not like in this game? Kukatil. Uh, oh, which one is that? The one in Luncheon, the bird. Oh, yeah, the one that I literally haven't fought in a long time. That would probably be why. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm very involved around all moon circles, and you have to beat it twice in all moons. And uh... it is very infamous for being a hacker. All right, that's fair. Yeah, I, I definitely haven't seen any all moon runs in a while. So I I, I certainly forgot about that bird. <laughs> Allison has a cute dog. Thank you. I think I do too. Nice. All right, Stravos here. Seen Allison's dog. Well, check my banner on Discord. Aw, man. Or in Danger's Discord. That you can check there too. <laughs> All right, Stravos. Luckily, going to be getting a two cycle on the Mecha Wiggler. Is Eek now into the Mecha Wiggler himself? A runner of this high level getting a three cycle on the Mecha Wiggler would be very rare. Yeah. So. It doesn't happen too often. When it does, it just it just hurts because you gotta sit there again. <laughs> you can make him sure he takes out some of those bullets before going on to the Mecha Wiggler here. Ooh. Clip. Some nice overlapping hitboxes there. Gonna make that a very quick cycle. I'm sorry, as you mentioned, Stravos there getting a scoop clip very cleanly. Right. Favorite moon. Bench friends. Bench friends. Yay. You know, he's such a he's such a nice guy. You just go down to sit with him, have a nice little chat. And he's like, you know what? Half a moon. Thanks, man. Super nice guy. I know. So wholesome. Alright, coming into the slots here for Strav. I'm suspecting a spin throw. Yep. Ooh. Very unfortunate, but not going to lose him too much time. I would count it as uh, more unfortunate if he would have actually hit the wrong one, <laughs> and oh, then he absolutely. would have had to do it again. Um, but he did lose a f second or two there, but yeah. devastating. And the thing is, like, the best way to reset that kind of uh, the slots is just like leave the room and come back in. So that would definitely been unfortunate. Well, you can also pay the guy um, again to reset it. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. There you go. Stravos getting a good bullet the bill here. Friends. Oh, minor bonk on the scaffolding. I think that's three bonks on that scaffold today. That's a lot of scaffolds. Come back to someone was saying it earlier, you know, new Donk City. What about new Bonk City? Oh, got him! Never, <laughs> never heard that one forever. I, I, I haven't personally, so it gave me a minor chuckle. Oh, I definitely have. I was, <laughs> if you, I was joking, if you couldn't tell, but. Boom. Nope. Nope. Wait. I'm not supposed to do that. He's <laughs> over heading here into bullet building. Stravos is finishing up the kingdom. Am I heading into the people's people. room? Oh, very nice from Stravos there. Yeah, good, clean, solid movement from Strav. Let's see. I think with the up throw, triple, spin throw, very clean movement into that.
If you want to go donate to the sponsor of the tournament, Urban Arts, the link is in the chat below. They're very cool and awesome and help kids get into video game design and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Urban Arts, really incredible with what they do. Ugh. Not only having that 100% successful transfer rate from their program going into college, but also having like, you know, 93% of their students being BIPOC and 50% of them also being young women. You know, just real nice diversity in their program. Love to hear that, especially being Women's History Month, you know. Eek, unfortunately, did have some trouble there going over to the pool and also had a little bit of trouble getting into the people's room. So he is going to be losing a few seconds there. Stravos over at Captain Todd. <laughs> he coming in the chat saying if you have been playing too much Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to say, Geek. I mean, you just PB'd a few days ago, so probably not. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to disagree with that statement. <laughs> Alright, and Geek here finally going to be out of Metro Kingdom. Stravos already in Shiveria, just having a blast, jumping around town. Yeah, this moon clip goes for him. Very clean. It actually does not save as much time as you think it was. It only saves a second or two, but... Yeah. It, lo it looks great when you see it, though. <laughs> True. I mean, like that, too. That blow. Oh, the swag yeah. factor is all there. Yeah. That triple jump in the wind is pretty cool. I still have yet to figure that out. Oh, there we go. Stravos getting that spiny manip too. Very nice. Eats at Captain Todd now. Both He's runners cold. a lot nicer. Yeah, both runners a lot nicer to Captain Toad than Buster Doggy was last match. What I missed it. What did Buster do? He just got rid of all that snow there and just exposed Captain Toad to the harsh, cold air. How dare he! <laughs> <laughs> Stravos over here in the Goomba room. I guess we won't be seeing an ICC attempt from him, which, I mean, is fair. Um, it's definitely not very RTA viable. It'd be pretty. It's definitely a very, very hard trick. <laughs> yeah, most people would. Not consider it RTA viable. We may like the only person I'd expect to maybe try it in this tournament would maybe be Psionic, but he might not even attempt it. So, oh no, he clipped back in. Oh, unfortunate. So Eek, Eek actually got the clip out of bounds, but then he wasn't far back enough, so he clipped back in. Yeah, like we talked it... about, it actually doesn't save a lot of time, so it's not going to be like a costly mistake by any means. But, right. You know. It's a lot, a lot more forgiving than some of the other clips that are necessary for speed running here. You can also see Stravo's nice social map. distancing in the shop. We love to see it. I remember, I remember one match. Someone mentioned that you can talk to the people there, Javaria, from so far away compared to the other stores. Pretty much, yeah. You can be like all the way at the back. Ooh. Stravos getting that glitchy cap jump as well from his, uh, at the end of his snow dram. I mean, he made it work and it was clean enough and definitely good enough for Absolutely. this race. You can fortunately taking a little amount of damage on the Goombas. 14. 34.07 for Stravos. Yeah, Eek's definitely still going to be having to hope for a meltdown to catch up. Yeah, I mean, it would definitely take something big, like falling off of mech. Um, 
but you know, we'll see. Yeah, that's true. The mech fight, falling off of the mech, even, even, even as a casual player, even if you're not speedrunning, falling off of the mech is just so painful. You have to sit and wait and wait and wait and wait, and ugh. Eat Snowdram attempt here. He's doing a little bit slower of a setup than Strav did. But still got it first try. Very solid. Very nice. Nice RCB there, too. I'm a sucker for RCBs, so. <laughs> they look really swaggy. <laughs> exactly. You know, I can't, I can't blame you at all. <laughs> Let's see if Strav does fish and dips here. He looks like he might be going for it. Yep. Mm. All right, 35, 45 for Eek. So he's like a minute and 40-ish seconds behind Stravos based on their snow exits. Stravos getting the nice fish clip and staying out of bounds are going to be saving quite a bit of time. I'm assuming Eek will also attempt fish and dip since it's not that difficult of a clip. And they're both very high level, so it's definitely not something that's super hard. Alright, Stravo's here. Gonna be out of Seaside with a very nice time. Eek, just now hopping in, collecting the first few moons here. Looking pretty good so far. I mean, to be fair, I don't think we ever said this wasn't pre-recorded. <laughs> but it is live. <laughs> this, this is live. It is not, live. It, it is, is live. live. Please, but we please didn't say confuse. it wasn't pre-recorded, but, you know... <laughs> Please do not confuse the epic gamers watching. All right, Eek also the nice fish and dips. Comes for this race pre-recorded. True. Yeah, got me there. Got me there. I guess. And Eek also with the very clean fish and dips. I think Eek's was actually a little bit better than Stravos's was. Um. In movement wise, which maybe save him a second or two, but. Oh, okay. fortunate with that salt triple. Gonna be trying for it again. I mean, Much luckily Stravos didn't die. Yeah. Yeah, that would definitely have been unfortunate. Even if he did die, he would still be ahead, though, so. Right. <laughs> All right, Stravos going to be hopping in to fight Spewert here. I mean, not First... doing the Spewert list is fair. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a lot safer. For sure. I mean, in Spewert list, Luncheon, there's a lot of places where things could go very wrong. And especially with the big lead that he has, playing safe, I think, is exactly the right move to do. Yeah. As you might Why have, risk uh... the win? over, you know, doing spiritless and uh, and making a mistake, you know? Not that he would make a mistake, but... Yeah, if, if any of you were here for the last match there, basically, mistakes in spiritless luncheon ended up deciding the race as well, as well as some later movement. I mean, you could argue that last race that the 2D skip decided it, so... Oh, for sure. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Uh, many, many, many factors, of course. All right, Eek's heading into luncheon here. It's hard to say what Eek will decide. Will he go and try and get a solid time? 
and just do the regular route, or will you try and go for Stewartless and maybe try and, you know, save those extra few seconds? But, you know, is it worth it is the question. Alright, Eek is attempting the Spiritless here. Alright, there he goes. Very clean but, on that jump. But hold on, gamers. Eek's route is by far from done. <laughs> so, he's still <laughs> right. got plenty of things left to do. <laughs> because... Luncheon is one of those kingdoms that's so story-driven that if you skip that story moon, a lot of the things that Stravos has on his screen are not going to be there for you. So he's going to have to do a lot of breaking the game in order to make this work. I, I do gotta say, I definitely enjoy breaking Super Mario Odyssey. It's pretty fun. Oh, I'll, I'll agree. I'll agree. So it can also be risky. So. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Will not Stratus deny had that. A solid forks room there. A very very clean movement. And you see these lava bubbles that Stravos has. Eek doesn't have those because those only appear once you beat Spirit, and he didn't do that. So that's why he has to jump like that. Stravis breaking the cheese, heading over to this next story, Moon. And Eek with a very nice forks room as well. We'll see how this Ooh, jump goes clean. for Eek. Ooh. You do have to take the damage boosts here. Eek almost forgetting to land on his hat. Luckily, saving himself there. I wasn't worried. I'm gonna eat the turn up here. Very nice throw. Solid movement on those turnips from Eek. Absolutely. So far, Eek has been doing a pretty good job with the Stewartless route. Ooh, very nice sprint throw there from Stravos. Yep, heading up to the meat. The game does tell you to twitch the meat. It Don't is true. Can't tell you why, but... It's very, it's a very specific choice of words. It's like how... Happy's like, oh yeah, looks like uh, I don't think you can force your way through this pyramid, and then you just kind of, ha, gotcha. Hey, <laughs> Cappy says, right I don't it. think you can brute this, is what he says. That's right, yes. I don't think you can brute, for this, brute force this, and then, surprise, you can. <laughs> All right, Eek here is setting up for the invis block jump. Let's see how this goes. Looks good so far. Very nice. Solid block jump there from Eek. 14, 43, 27. From Stravos on the exit. All right, as Eek heads into the lava bubble room here. Stravos gonna be having an encounter with Bowser and gonna be ending up in the UA Kingdom here. What do you mean the UA Kingdom? Yeah, you know, the Urban Arts Kingdom. It's the kingdom where we talk about the Urban Arts program and how amazing that they are. Sponsoring oh, I this see. tournament with a thousand dollars prize pool, as well for the incredible work that they do. Helping unprivileged college students learn Absolutely. game design. You know, just gotta give shout-outs to them and shout-outs to Jason 
from Urban Arts. Absolutely, you know, we love Jason. Jason's a pretty cool guy. Absolutely. Eek 44.53, so still about a minute and a half difference. What happened to Eek? Well, it, it kind of started going downhill for Eek when he uh, died and wooded and had to go all the way back to the shop. Yeah, he's been having to play catch up ever since and hopefully uh, taking that spiritless route in lunch and saved him a couple of seconds to get a little closer. Yeah, I mean, for sure probably did save him a couple of seconds over Stravos, but like we mentioned earlier, with this big time gag, Eek not only has to play well, but he really needs Stravos to make a mistake. And right now, Stravos hasn't really made a mistake. Yeah, Stravos has been gaming pretty well here. Not to say that Stravos is playing, like, on PB pace, because, you know, he did take that death um, in Lost Kingdom. Well, they both did, actually, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. But, you know, they're both having a pretty fine Ruined. You know, Ruined isn't really the place where you gain or save any time. Yeah. It's just kind of the break that you get before the end. It's really all. And the game's like, hold up. You're gaming a little too fast here. Let me just throw you into this boss fight with time sequences that you can't really skip or avoid. Exactly. Heading in here to Bowser's Kingdom. Stravos is really just gonna need to continue just playing a solid race, you know. Just keep playing well, not make any big mistakes, and it's looking good in his favor. A very nice triple jump there. I'd say he probably isn't on sub hour pace right now. Yeah. <laughs> we have seen quite a few sub hours in this tournament already, and I just 158, I think. Maybe two. Very fancy movement from Stravos there. <laughs> 158 and 359. Okay. Thank you no, for shout, that. Shout out to Mats, one of our uh, one of the cool stats people here at the Cool Cat Gang. Very, very nice shards movement here from Stravos. Very clean. Stravos was actually able to manip that Pokio to poke the bomb without capturing it. So that's another thing that can save you a little bit of time and also look cool. Which, oh, you know, yeah. we love. It's definitely a lot of fun to make the Pokios hit that bomb for you. Alright, each having no problem there with the ogre. Shabos, uh, doing that movement with a very odd camera angle there, but definitely still making it work. No mishaps here. Yeah, that's more of a manip for the dram than anything. Let's see. Harry at first here for Stravos. I'm expecting to probably see some Zarbamba attempts. 
Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Definitely went for it, but unfortunately, though. yeah, it didn't hit the bomb in time. Not that it's a costly mistake. Okay, so we actually did a first person Harriet there on that second round, not Sarbonda. Which by no means, like, kills his pace or anything, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Hardly loses him any time, but, you know, just, just a teeny bit. All right, Strabo's heading into the topper fight here. You're just absolutely wrecking shop, taking out these rabbits one by one. Had a little bit of trouble. He actually, I think he wanted a spin throw there, but he got an up throw instead. Um, well, you know, it's those motion controls we all love. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm I'm thankful that I have a GameCube controller with motion controls. You do. It's uh interesting. It's a, yeah, it's power a controller. <laughs> okay. All right, Eek did topper first, so we got one for both teams. Right, yeah, Eek had a little bit better there of a topper fight. All right, Eek there got Zarbamba. So this is what Stravos wanted, is to have that bomb fly in the air. Definitely saves you a good chunk of seconds. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's like 10 seconds by any means. I mean, oh, definitely one, not. Two, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. All right, Stravos here going into Mech. This is one of the places where things could happen. Ooh, eat golden bunnies. Hog you. Yeah, sorry, Wes. No nut jump here. No, that's way too slow. Plus, you need <laughs> 1.0. Yeah, these guys are on 1.3. Alright, Stravo's looking pretty decent on the mech so far. Only two more people gonna be needed to get KO'd. Yeah, the last thing that could happen here would be the topper acquired. Very cleanly done there by Stravo's. Very good mech fight. Eek still having the rest of Bowser's Kingdom to go here. Stravo's gonna be headed into Moon Kingdom real shortly. I mean, Ika still, by all means, is having a solid Bowser's Kingdom. Said in chat that he golded bunnies, so... You know, by all means, good on his part. Absolutely. Eek is indeed gaming, and gaming well. And keep in mind, gamers, that part of the scoring for this tournament is how close you come to your competitor. So Eek is going to want to get as close to Stravos as he possibly can in order to get as many points as he can. Ooh, Eek had a little bit of trouble, unfortunately, not getting Topper there as quick as he probably would have wanted to. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely not the way he wanted it to go. Not, not a catastrophic mistake, but, you know, again, taking another video to go back and look. See what happened, see what went wrong. Looked like his ground pound input probably didn't come out there from what I saw. Um, hard to say if that was dropped or not. I'm also going to be exiting the mech with a nice ta uh, target acquired as well. Stravos here going to the moon. Eek. 
unfortunately quite a bit ways behind. If he's going to catch up, we're going to have to see a major Mario meltdown from Stravos here. Good triple jump there from Stravos. Very nice. Vector. Stravos can still 58. He cannot. <laughs> I do not believe Stravos can 58 this. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this... Moon cave skip goes single wall. Ooh, very nice there from Stravos. That single wall is a little bit more risky than the traditional moon cave skip. Yeah, I've I've seen the single wall a few times, and I I still don't understand how it works. <laughs> I mean, who knows why anything works? To be honest. You know, you know, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I've stopped asking questions a while ago. You're just like, you know what? It does the thing, and that's what people care about, so we're just gonna let it go. We're gonna exactly. let it do the thing. Alright. Stravos is in here to the final Bowser's fight. Still playing pretty solidly. Eek is now also in Moon Kingdom. And Eek's gonna want the cleanest Moon Kingdom that he can get in order to get as close to Stravos as possible. Little bit of an overjump there with the unfortunate, but not gonna be too big of a deal. All right, yeah, Eek there did the traditional cave skip. Not quite as flashy, but still gets the job done perfectly fine. Stravos, having finished up that Bowser fight, now here, going to be in the escape sequence as E just now going to be hopping into the Bowser fight. And Stravos could definitely self-power this. Very, very nice lines there. Super clean. Into the 2D section. Solid 2D skip. Very, very clean 2D section there from Stratos. Yeah, Eek is also, he's having a good Bowser fight. No issues so far. Get your cat jams in chat, Strav. Let's go, Stravos in the cat jam pillar room. Definitely sub for Stravos. Looking like a low to mid 59. Which, without DSS, and without Spiritless Luncheon, and the Death of Blast, is you know, pretty incredible. That's solid, yeah. I actually kind of forgot about the Death and Lost again. <laughs> so I was just playing really well. He's probably going to 101, I would guess. Or maybe high 100. Probably high 100. Fifty nine, thirteen for Stravos ninety six, taking the W. GG Stravos. 
very clean. Eek here, attempting 2 DSS. Oh! Darn. Landing on that final platform, or the first platform there, but unfortunately not getting any further. That trick is hard. 2 DSS is freaking hard. Absolutely. Stravos there with a very solid run. Yeah, West Talk point out in the. Uh, being pointed out in the chat there, playing within 30 seconds of PB, you love to see that in a race setting. Absolutely. I mean, Stravos is very famously good at tournaments. There you go. <laughs> and he actually won the last tournament that CCG had, so... Oh, dang. I think I must have missed that one. Uh, it was, like, a couple weeks ago. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I did miss the finals. Sadness. Works. All right, sometimes. you can get your cat jams for eat in the pillars cat. room. Cat jam, cat jam, cat jam. Yeah, if only you didn't have that death and loss grab, would have been pretty banger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, eek, in, eek looking like a high 100. Which, considering everything that happened to him, still very solid. Absolutely, big agree there. Beautiful. 10050. GG's for Eek. Good runs from both players. A very nice spirit list from Eek, but unfortunately, uh, Stravos just not letting, not making too many mistakes and not letting Eek have a chance to get back here. Gonna be taking the win. Very, very solid run from both gamers. We love to see these sub hours and races and we love to see, you know, close runs. So let's check, see here if either of these gamers are available for a couple questions. It's gonna be a no from Eek. GG again to him. Yeah, absolutely. You know, an hour in the Super Mario Odyssey, absolutely nothing to sneeze at. That is an hour in Super Odyssey is great. It's a great time. Getting a 100 is by no means easy, so. Not at all. Yo, welcome in, Stravos, into the booth. GG's again on your win here. How you feeling? Uh, relieved a little bit. Uh, <laughs> since, uh, since coming from the Open tournament that came before this, uh, you know, I decided to just relax a bit and, you know, I let my, my skill slip a little bit. So coming into this, <laughs> this new tournament, the first match against Eek, a pretty tough opponent, uh, you know, I was pretty worried, but, you know, he made a couple mistakes. He, he made it easy on me, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm, pulling I'm... out a low 59, I would say, is by definitely no means letting your skills slip. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> did, did you see that death and loss? I did. <laughs> oh. Eek yeah, actually made the exact same death that you did. Yeah, I saw. Oh, my God. We, we just, I don't know, somewhere around there, like, around the middle game both of us just weren't playing too well but obviously i had the better end of it and uh yeah i just kept the lead honestly the one thing that i am really happy about with this run is my early game because even without dss i got a 1006 sand exit which that's great yeah that's just really good and uh, I played a little bit badly in Lake and Wooded, but it didn't even look bad because of how good of a start I had. So, like, I, I was chilling after that. Yeah, other yeah. than that death and loss, I can't really point to anywhere you lost a lot of time. So, yeah, a lot of just very... weird, a lot Go of ahead. weird small mistakes everywhere that I gotta clean up, but you know. Besides that one big mistake, there's nothing really else big to complain about. So. 
Yeah, your your gameplay throughout most of the match was like absolutely clean. Uh, you did not let Heek take any advantage of any minor mistakes that you might have made. Yeah, well, congratulations to you. Going to be taking that win, and you're finishing about a minute and a half off. So, as a reminder, the winner gets ten points uh, for the every difference of ten seconds. Uh, difference between their competitors. So Stravos is going to be building up a good chunk of points there for the win and for the minute and a half difference over Eek. Absolutely. And again, everybody here should go check out these racers, Eek and Stravos. Some really solid Super Mario Odyssey gameplay here today in the Cool Cat King Any Percent League. Any parting words, Stravos? Uh... GG once again to Eek. Uh, he had some rough mistakes. Can't really blame him. Uh, they're just, you know, the game's awkward sometimes. Uh, yeah, the, you know, I feel like... This time, but, you know, in future races, I'm sure he'll do some crazy runs, so I'm not too worried about him. Alright, GG mm -hmm. again to Strav and Eek. Looks like we're going to be raiding Ganon. Ganon is actually doing an all-category marathon of super mario odyssey so we'll be going to check them out um, very nice and keep your you eyes peeled on the schedule for the cool cat gang we've got a lot of mario action coming up this week tons and tons of super mario 16 star open races as well as uh once they're scheduled more smo league matches